second. Good? Great! Let's chat a little, shall we? This Friday is our third football game against Terriel High. Bleh! What a name! A school for the fully angelic wing students. But then again, if they existed, then it might mean something. But they don't, and neither does the school. So we'll totally win. Starts at 5 p.m. at our football field. So try not to be late. And no, don't bring any upside down crosses. Can't go offending one group of individuals. We're classier than that. But if they start throwing holy water and thumping you with Bibles, you have every right to defend yourself and hit them. Not that I'm prompting violence and chaos during this time of year. I'm just saying, you don't need to go to their level, but you can smack a bitch if they start it first. Anyway, so the second basketball game was Friday, and we won! Way to go, you guys! Using your creative thinking to get around those robots? Very proud. Keep it up. Now our third game will be next Friday. Last game before the holidays, and we're up against KWA. Great. Well, hopefully, they won't be nearly as brutal as their football players. Cross your fingers for the best. Game starts at 3 p.m., and it's a home game. Good luck, you guys. Don't forget, today is the auditions for the White Christmas Play. Hope you've got your vocals ready. Sirens, I've already told you last week. No using your magical abilities to get the part. Okay? Starts at 1.30 in the theater. So don't be late or they won't let you in to audition. Okay? Don't forget, this week and next is our performing arts concerts. Band will be having their performance tonight here at the gym at 5 p.m. They are apparently going to be selling some merch there as a way to earn some extra cash for their band trip this year for competition. So go help out our band get their way to this spring. Choir will be having theirs on Wednesday in the theater at 4.30 p.m. They are also selling merch to raise money for their own competition this year. Looking forward to it. Orchestra will be having theirs also on Friday. Oh my, I just realized our football game and orchestra performance is on the same day at the same time. Well, since technically if you're a football player in orchestra, orchestra is a grade. So, sorry coach, you'll have to use other players that night. I mean, unless you have the ability to clone them and their awesome ability to play, so then they'd be two places at the same time. That would be awesome. And illegal. Please don't. You're our best coach. We can afford to lose you this year. <laughs> Orchestra will also be selling merch for their competition trip. Yay! Anyway, and then finally, next Monday will be our dance performance at 4 p.m. in the gym. They, too, will be selling merch. Now say it with me. To earn money for their competition trip. Yeah, a lot of our performance arts are going to be going out for a competition this year. It's so exciting. I wish them all the best of luck. Now next week will be our winter season week. Our last week of school before winter break. So all week next week will be goodies, hot chocolate, apple cider, and our little homemade booths to support our baking class as well as home ec class. And also our gift wrapping stations when you can't wrap presents at home due to nosy family members. All that will be in the gym while our cafeteria is still under construction. Also, we'll be playing holiday movies all day, every day that week for students that don't want to do something during lunch or teachers that don't feel like teaching. But please, limit it to a max of two days, two classes per out of the week. 
Gotta give other teachers a chance. Now, for the winter week. Monday is Crazy Holiday Hat Day. Get creative, people, but not so creative that it can knock people down or obstruct yours and their view. Tuesday is Crazy Hair Day. Same as for crazy hair, as it is for crazy hat. Also, see if you can do it without hairspray. Especially if you know you're in Mr. K's class. Don't need flaming hair rushing out of the classroom, okay? Wednesday is Ugly Holiday Sweater Day. I want to see some cringe, people. Come on. But please, nothing that looks like it needs to be washed or donated 30 years ago. And nothing sexual. Seriously, as funny as it was to see a sweater with Santa in a Speedo with a bikini Mrs. Claus, having them move with thrust was not needed and Principal McCallum said can't have that next year. So there goes that bit of fun. Thursday is holiday clothes day. I know, what's really the difference between that and the sweaters? Well, the clothes don't have to be ugly, and you can't go all out. Just no bikinis with white puffs on them saying you're Mrs. Claus, and no swim trunks with Santa simping on a Mai Tai on them. Other words, be dressed, but have them be festive. That even includes wearing a powder blue suit with snowflakes or a red suit with candy canes on them. Yes, it exists. I know, because Dad has one. Picture the devil wearing a red suit with candy canes on it and you'll laugh too. And lastly, Friday is Holiday Celebration Day. It's different this year. This year, we're celebrating each other. Telling them happy holidays if you don't know what their holiday is. Or wishing them a merry, happy, whatever their holiday is if you know it. A day to give cards and exchange gifts before winter break. We celebrate and be happy that we get to do this with the friends, classmates, teachers, and staff we all care about. There will also be Principal McCannum's holiday charity drive. Bring any unopened canned goods, goods that don't expire, new toys, clothes, and etc. The last day will be that Friday to bring it all in. And if anyone wants to donate their time after school that day to wrap presents, you can sign up with me. Have till next Monday at the end of the day to sign up. And that's it for our holiday announcements. Now let's move on to the lost and found. Hmm. A present. With a note. Okay, let's open it and see. If it's vengeance that you seek, go ahead and take a peek. If it is grief, you cannot part. Just like your mother. I'll eat your... What? Lexus, for your sake, don't open the box. But... but... Please, just trust me, Lexus. You'll regret it if you look inside. Just hand the box over. I'll make sure your uncle gets it to examine it. Okay? Uh, uh, okay. Um, students, that was a lost and found. Lunch specials are salad, pizza, wings, and breadsticks. A quote? Uh, be good to your fellow person, and don't take the time you have with loved ones for granted. You never know how much time you have left with them. My name is Lexus Amelia Davolo, and have a good week. Hey, you guys. Cam McAdam here. Hope you guys enjoyed today's announcements. If you did, hit that like button. Want to hear more? Want to hear book reviews or see speed drawings? Then hit that subscribe button. Want to learn more about Lexus? Want to see where it all started? Then you'll want to head over to my webcomic, Deadline. You can read it on the site itself or on my DeviantArt page. Want to see what goes on beyond GMMH, reviews, and speed drawings? You can follow me on Instagram, Twitter, and my two Facebook pages. All links will be in the description below. And... Want to know when these come out? Then hit that bell and make it ring.
because school is in session. Catch you later, students.